Welcome back to another short and sweet. Well, normally the samples and reviews are short. And it's still really sweet that they shared them with us. Yeah, full bottles, but both sent that to us. That is a plus, <laughs> from, like. Yeah, from uh, Iron Root Republic, so. Who we love. We're gonna do a double short and sweet, so it'll be a little bit longer, but double, double the sweetness. Uh, we have the- it's so beautiful. The batch two of the Herald, and we have a hazmat version of the yeah, Harbinger. The Harbinger, which cool. is like what really turned us on to Iron Root in the first place. Mm -hmm. The Saints Alley, uh, the Nobleman, was our second place blind rye of the year from 2022. So. Mm -hmm. The Herald and the Harbinger, if anyone's looking for a good band name, <laughs> I think that. Chad thinks it'll work. All right, let's give you the bona fides of this guy. Batch number two, as we said, special edition, blend of straight bourbon whiskeys finished in Pinot de Chirac and Armagnac casks. It's 107 proof. Did I say that right, Sarah? Chirac? Charant? Okay. I don't know. Limited to 2,400 bottles, so this will be hitting uh, total lines across the U.S. pretty soon, so be on the lookout for it. And that isn't that many bottles, like, as far as count goes, but with, we saw the same thing with the Nobleman uh, release, mm -hmm. and, and it was fairly easy for us yeah, to find. we saw it several places. Several places, sitting on the shelf. Ooh, that's a that's a sweet, rummy type of, even mm. like, almost like rum cake. Well, um, I think it's got those, like, yeah, those syrupy, berry, rich, Sweet Armagnac -y notes. Armagnac. -y. You can you definitely get it. I get mean, some Armagnac in this Armagnac finished bourbon. You but it comes through, right? Yeah, it does. Intoxicating aroma, but you know, besides the fact that it's alcohol. I mean, there's just like a lot of layers of fruit. Like I could mm -hmm. just say fruit, but it's a layer, very a layered. All right, to your health. Wow. Oh, I think this is lovely. Whoa. It has some power to it. it does also. Yeah. What was the proof? One oh seven. One oh seven. Mm hmm. Well, it's that finishing barrel and those other flavors that come on top of, you know, the bourbon that is like, yeah, it's giving a punch like flavor wise, but there's no like heat really so much on the tongue. It's not you're, what you're saying. I think is like there's no burn. Yeah. Yeah. It's smooth. It's it's, <laughs> people like to say, but what does that mean? Yeah, it comes on strong. It's not a, a, a real long finish, at least not on the first sip, but yeah, it came on strong and there was a lot of um, complexity in that first sip. It's really coating up front and you get all that like syrupy, honey, almost those sweet notes um, that I think are really coming from the Armagnac and a lot of that fruit up front and it really coats your mouth. And yeah. then towards the back half, I think it goes more into, I don't know, maybe the, the bourbon or like certain element that you get in bourbons from Texas, like that, almost like that Texas heat mm -hmm. kind of comes through a little bit at the end and, and it balances it out. So it's not just like sweet, it's not like cloyingly sweet or anything like that. Yeah. It's really nicely balanced. It is. Just to remind you guys, this is uh, a blend of MGP's High Rye Bourbon and then Iron Roots uh, Heirloom Corn Bourbon. And this is also in partnership with Chris, the Liquor Hound. Mm. Yeah. I enjoy these. <laughs> this is good. It's a nice little change of pace. We like an Armagnac finish that we can find and afford. I, and again, mm -hmm. I know the 2400 bottles is not, doesn't seem like that many, but mm -hmm. I feel like it is more, mm -hmm. more achievable than some other things. Yeah, this is almost like you're drinking a cocktail, but a very, you know, spirit forward cocktail. It has sort of that, mm -hmm. those type of flavors that, you know, you would get in like a, in a good old fashioned. Shall we graduate to this, <laughs> um, oh, this hazmat. Yeah, 140 what? Tri-barrel blend hazmat edition, 141.5. Mm -hmm. 141. Are you ready? Cause I'm not mm -hmm. sure if I am ready. But before we get into the Iron Root, we want to pause and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the t-shirt, the long sleeve that you're wearing, Sarah. Hats, uh, our Glen Cairns and water glasses, rocks glasses, copitas, bottle cut candles, and more always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And that is where you can participate in barrel picks depending on your tier. Uh, also get the exclusive opportunity to purchase barrel picks, get discounts on that merch and more. Now this one, uh, is or was, I'm not sure if they still have them, but a distillery exclusive. That's why we're not going to spend a whole lot of time on this one, but it's more just to sort of talk to the Iron Root Republic. Sure. And like um, this different selection of things that they, yeah. that they offer, mm -hmm. the, just the different kind of stuff that they do and like innovation and things like that. Uh, this is 22 dash two edition. It's age 66 months. Whoa, that's like a kettle corn. Very different. Uh, yeah, kettle corn popping, but maybe the bottom layer of the kettle corn is, is burning just a little bit. Cause there's like, it's it done. has this, yeah, it's the got this. The corn is really coming through. Uh-huh, almost like this burning 
tobacco leaf type of... Yeah, and there's also like a, almost like a spicy chocolate mm -hmm. note. It's like really, really dark chocolate and like a spice. There's also like a little bit of a citrus note in yeah, there too, like ci a lemon. Citrus and uh, citrus and plum. And also like an outdoorsy, woodsy... Pine. Pine or fireplace, I'm not sure. Yeah. So there's a lot going, it's this like a, is uh, unique. Uh, a fire in the woods has been put out a couple minutes ago type of thing. But anyway, it's your health. Oh, whoa. Ba -ba 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 <laughs> <laughs> wow. And yet, and yet not. Approachable. Right? Just like this one, there's no heat on the tongue. It's just, well, this one's really viscous for, for one thing. It's got a, a really good mouthfeel, but it's just this big, exp powerful explosion of flavor, mm. but not like a uh, like a lot of heat, which we've seen in other <clears throat> great hazmats, like, you know, George C. Stag we've had and some others like that. Yeah. They don't light you on fire necessarily. Yeah. I think a lot of the flavors that we talked about from the nosing notes translate over to the palate. Like I get like, mm -hmm. yeah, freshly extinguished campfire. Mm -hmm. And again, like that spiced chocolate, yeah. like super dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. and some clove. Woodsy note. Yeah. yeah. Um, for a, you know, 66 month, that's not a super, old uh but, but texas time works different it does yeah it's almost like i'm getting a little bit of tobacco which you get on much older and oak yeah uh -huh. a lot Back on oak. it's like in interstellar where they go to the planet where time like they're only there for <laughs> like texas. an hour and a half or something yeah. but or a couple hours but it ends up being like 25 years uh -huh. it doesn't quite work like that but it's like something like that i don't know the science wow that's for for a hazmat this is pretty crushable Oh, I don't, I mean. I, I mean, I could, I shouldn't, and I you won't. You shouldn't. But Oof. could be very crushable. I enjoy it a lot. Mm -hmm. I think uh, cr crushable makes me feel like I'm gonna have heartburn. <laughs> <laughs> sure. It is potent. It's a sipper. It's it a, is a slow it sipper, a, but I think sipper. it's nice. I like it. A second sip, I do get more heat on the tongue. But mm -hmm. that first sip was actually very approachable and easy, and yet, explosion of flavor. <laughs> yeah. Overall, mm. they're one of the, these distilleries that like I'm always super excited to see what they're doing and what yeah. they're coming out with, and I will try the things that they put out because mm -hmm. I feel like they've got a pretty good track record. So you might not be able to find this exact hazmat, but the, they do have a harbinger that is uh, barrel proof. Which we also recommend. If you yeah can visit their actual distillery, I'm sure you can find some distillery exclusive things like this. And if you can find a hazmat, <laughs> but definitely be on the lookout for these Saints Alley bottles as mm -hmm. well. Yeah, for sure. Okay, well that's where we gotta leave it. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to this already, you know what you can do. You can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. Helps you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thank you, uh, Iron Root. Almost said Saints Alley. Same thing. <laughs> Until next time, drink more bourbon.